So, I literally just got done shopping at Walmart. This is the test footage of my brand new 16 gig card that I had to buy because Walmart's corporate branch decided to say, hey, let's sell these micro SDs for $7.95 on the website and say they're in store and then I actually put them in store. Why? Because microtransactions. Because shipping. Evil bastards. Hey, hey, hey. That aside, 130 plus minutes, give or take, something like that, a ludicrous amount. And if my math is right, that's two hours, ten minutes, and whatever and change in seconds. Which is great news. Fuck yeah. So, yeah. We're just going to be leaving Walmart now, and I'll see you in the next clip. Hopefully that'll be tomorrow sometime, and I'll actually be able to give you a date then. So, here's where we stand. We're outside of Walmart. Let's set this up right. And the theft, the magnetic theft thing kicks off, because this fucker right here. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. And fuck yeah, I can finally do vlogs. I have over 130 minutes of fucking film time. Fuck yeah. Come on, Michigan. Move your ass. But yeah. Hopefully now I'll be able to do this on a more regular basis. Maybe when I get a proper tripod mount, I can actually drive like a proper person. And not a sluggish idiot. There's a little bit of camera shake from uh, the mount. Which is kinda loose. Just a teeny bit. And for all the safety Nazis out there who are saying, why the hell are you fucking driving with no hands at any point? Really, Michigan? You could pull up a lot fucking farther. It's because I tr- Shut up. You can't- I just put gas in you! I literally just put gas in you! You can't be almost out! I put $10 into you yesterday. There's no way I burned through all of that yesterday. What the fuck, man? But, uh... What was I saying? Something about... Ooh, Challenger! RT package! Fuck yeah! But, uh... Something about, uh... Being able to film... And there's the ADD kicking in. Woo, squirrel. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my life. But, um, in the process of trying to drive, I'm also trying to remember what the fuck I was saying before the gas light went off. Uh, fucking can't remember now. It's gonna bug me because now I really can't remember. I'm seriously debating about getting a mount for in here or making a mount for in here because I want one. Because that way I could just right down to the mount. Seed to the V8. No, fuck you too. Fuck you too, camera. I was trying to be cool and that Cadillac just kind of walked away from me. And I was full on for it. And that guy just said, nope. In case you're wondering, Yes, my hands are off on off the wheel, but it's because I trust my car that much that I can do that. Especially because it tracks so well. There's very, very little drift in it. It's what happens when you service your car regularly by a professional mechanic. And 
it's for some things like that, doing an alignment, it's worth it because fluid change, get the alignment done, check the tires, shit like that. Yeah, take it to a mechanic. It's no big problem, even if it is a modified car slightly. For engine work, though, if you're running a modified car like I will be, chances are you kind of want to invest in a um, toolkit that's pretty expensive. Mother of fuck. This is why, right here, I need a proper stand for uh, my camera. Hopefully that'll work. But, uh, what was it saying? Right, something about, um, right, engine maintenance. But this is one of the reasons why you want to invest in proper engine maintenance, or if you're running a modified car, as I was saying, you're going to want to invest in a proper set of tools to maintenance your own engine. Because the parts themselves are pretty inexpensive, uh, bearings, for instance. It's the man hours and the shop hours that add up that make the job expensive. You gotta figure. Uh, perfect example. Son of a cunt. This, this shit here, right here, is why I need to invest in a fucking proper mic stand of some kind for the car. Shut up, Blinker. I'm trying to be ginger with my braking so that the camera doesn't fuck off into infinity. And yet, chances are it'll probably still try to do that. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, proper set of tools for your engine if you're running a modified car. Shit like that. And... Yeah, there's not much else to it. I really need to get a mic stand for this, or mic stand, camera stand for in here, because I really want to start doing this on a regular basis, just as a way of vlogging, just because ADD kicks in and gonzo, so I need to be futzing with something, I need to be driving, really helps me, ooh, there's that Geo, fourth gen Camaro, someone done fucked up, that's Dot's place, one of my neighbors. But yeah, this will probably go up sometime in the near future. Today is... What is today? The 19th. End of. So, yeah. But yeah. Oh, I think that will be all for it. It was a quick seven minutes. And I'll see you in the next bit. Peace. So, life update. I got this bitch a new tripod that I completely forgot was hidden behind the TV smart. My cat is coming back out of the vet today because apparently she got really constipated all to fuck. And point you like so. Alright, that should be pretty good. And just a tad bit tighten down the wing nut. So that we don't move. And voila. So, why was my cat in the vet? Well, here's why. For the past couple of days, I think she's been suffering from the after effects of a stroke. I don't honestly know, as not stated as in the video previously about my cat. She's getting quite old. She's 13, pushing 14 now. And as such, she 
just not no spring chicken. She's susceptible to things like this, like a stroke. And what made me think it was a stroke initially was the fact that she was crying so much about it. She's having a hard time walking. She was acting funny, you know. You spend so many years with your pet, you pick up on certain ticks, certain tells, because you know them. You get to know them. You fuck, fall in love with them, have a relationship with them, trust, a bond, a love. If you're a good pet owner, that is. And, uh, I could tell there's something not quite right with her. She wasn't acting right. The past couple of days, she's been very, very sluggish. I mean, sure, she's old. She's supposed to be sluggish, but, I mean, sluggish in a not normal way. Not very active, not very interested in going to eat hard time moving around, I mean, more than normal, because, you know, 14, she's an old cat, she's, in cat years, like, 50-something, just back this way, there we go, so yeah, she's, she's not young, by any stretch, but that being said, There was something wrong with her, you could just tell. And mom's the one who noticed it right off the bat. She hadn't taken a real normal shit in the past couple of days. We're on a dirt road in case you're wondering. I hope this is not picking up a lot of noise from the road and from the wind. Because that would suck. I want that double action trailer. Yo, drop that off at my place, dude! keep on looking at double action trailers just because I want one. I want one so I can drag a car around because why wouldn't you? If you had one, you would use it. But, um, I'm just on my way to, uh, to, uh, O'Reilly's right now because I was supposed to be knee-deep in the junkyard about this time yesterday, and I wasn't because my ride flaked on me, and yeah, I need to fix that. So, I'm going to find out what happened yesterday, because I'm really annoyed by that fact. So, we're just heading there right now. I'll see you in a sec. So, I got things sort of sorted as far as what the fuck happened. David was just dead to the world. Now I got his address, so come 9 a.m. Thursday, I'm going to be bugging the shit out of him. So, that's the plan. Now we're off from O'Reilly's to head to the gas station. Pick up a 12 pack and a soda of beer, and from there we're heading off to the animal hospital to pick up my cat. So, well, that's actually convenient for me. I could have made that, but another accident. I'll see you in a sec. So we're at the clinic now, I'm picking the asshole up, and check out that doggy! Doggy! How do you breathe out of a face that squished? Shoot, run along. Good doggy! But yeah, so I'm picking her up now, and because I need to. Another doggy! Doggy! No, oh, I shouldn't call that a doggy, that's a trained rat. That's what that is. Fluffy! <laughs> So what's his reason? Upset. Allergies. All kinds. You don't even remind me. I live with that curse every day. A little white bark? No. You. Yeah. <laughs> well, he breaks out in hives and rashes. Oh, I get. And scratches and 
Sounds like my cat with fleas. But people would like think it does not have fleas. It's just a skin allergy. Yeah. He is, his name is Captain Morgan. Why? Well, because my granddaughter wanted Morgan and I couldn't remember it, so I thought if I put Captain in front, I'd remember it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah, man. Crazy people. <laughs> Crazy people. Sit down. I mean, at least he doesn't have it as bad as I do. I mean, when it starts breaking out, I get a wicked headache. Well, he doesn't eat. Uh, he's kind of fussy eater anyhow, but he just kind of doesn't eat. Yeah, that's never a good thing. Um, I had to bring my cat in to get her on clogged, take the cork out of her butt. Because she got, I don't know why, she suddenly constipated. I hadn't taken a dump in a couple of days. And, um, yeah, something like that happens. You, you tend to get just a teeny bit worried. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they are pretty consistent with like once or twice yeah. a day. After a week, yeah, you start doing a little dance back and forth. Just a little bit. Hey. Oh, I hear. The caddy. The caddy. wonder what's going on. I also hear a small child for some reason. Hello. Everything going all right back there? Yeah. I just wiped her butt off because she had a little bit of stool still back there. So what, it should turn into a brown volcano? Uh, just a little bit. Well, that's always a good thing. How are you feeling, you jerk? You made me worry. Oh. I'm right here. Oh. Uh, black calico. Oh. You okay? Is that she or he? She. She's talking to you. Yeah. She said, do you know what they just did to me? Yeah, they stuck a tube up her butt. <laughs> I like it when it comes out perfectly like that. All right. And uh, receipt, I am assuming. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Sounds like he's got the same treatment. <laughs> you all right there, you jerk? Or are you still having a bit of explosive diarrhea? So what happened? Did you just get clogged up with yeah. like a hairball? No, it was just kind of clogged. Um, sometimes I'll just get a really hard stool in there, and it's hard for it to come out. And it just kind of gets stuck. Yeah. So you're going to give her two mLs of this twice a day until she has a normal stool. How? In her mouth. All right. So She it's did really it. good. She let me do it. It's not too bad. It smells like she, bananas. Tastes like bananas. She's actually pretty so. used to it because what I do is I'll give her like a little pill that dissolves in water uh -huh. of uh, skin allergy medicine because she breaks out bad when she gets fleas. Okay. So that's how she's pretty used to that. Right. Hope she didn't nail any of you too badly. No, I didn't. She was actually really good for me. That's always good. You behaved yourself, you little yeah, shit. Yeah, that's a puppy dog. That's Speaking of dogs, he's Aww. back again. Aww. I seriously don't get pure breeds though. Like you look at that dog's face, and it's a miracle it can even breathe out of its nose. <laughs> it is. It's very oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a black Frenchie? Uh, yeah. yeah the oh, it's just. Oh, it's a doctor's dog. Is it? Uh-huh. I seriously don't get pure breeds. They should really be called what they are, inbreeds. <laughs> Look up there. Uh, I'm used to say, you know, they're used to be not just, you know, the designer dogs. Yeah, pretty much. And it's one thing if you're doing it with like a particular trait in a large breed. It's one thing, it's another thing entirely when you take the same family of dogs and make them get together. That, this is a Bichon and a Chester. Mutts always tend to live longer. And the Bichon is very calm dog. So it's a calm dog. Calm, calm dog. Calm, not anxious. Oh, calm. Oh, my accent getting you? Just a little bit. It's like town. It's a northern accent. Where are you from there, bud? Michigan. Oh, that's why I don't remember. Florida, right but then Michigan. Oh, you're not heading back? Nope. Oh, I don't know when Michigan people go back. 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. Down, it's so crowded and messy down here when you're still here. That's what I'm saying now. I'm a Floridian. Okay, oh, there you go. Go home. You still, home. you all right there, Fleabag? Did you get your puppy in Michigan? Yeah. But he's got allergies. Beyond allergies. Oh. You okay? Does she always talk like that? Well, she's been pretty rough lately. All right, here we are. Sorry about that. My printer was being slow. There's your receipt. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Call us if you have any problems. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, kitty, come on. Uh, you okay, honey? You all right? Jerk. Hey. I'm right here behind you, dumbass. I'm going to have to cut the recording here because I need both hands. God, you stink. So Stinky's back. Looking a little better. Her eyes don't seem as dilated. Hi. Give me a scare, you asshole. She scratched, and that's a good sign. Oh, she scratched the doctor? No, 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 no. She... Oh, she's scratching herself. Yeah. I think she's still a little packed up. Like, a good chunk of it came out, but not all of it. What do you want? Is that what the doctor said? Well, why else would they give us this medicine? What do you want? Oi, I still haven't gotten that information out of you. I will return. Yes, stinky. You smell really oh, bad. Oh, she is just pleased.